Alrighty, so I was called out for what's in your pocket, the what's in your pocket challenge by Timothy Flegel, Flugel, Flegel, whatever. I know that will probably drive him up a wall that I purposely pronounce it wrong sometimes. But anyway, so kind of what I carry on my side, which, which you guys are currently on my phone, which I usually carry that on my side, and I don't really carry a whole lot in my, um, uh, I don't really care a whole lot on me because you know it bothers my pocket me to have stuff in my pocket but obviously i always carry my wallet that one thing i do not go without because ryan has a tendency but you know just a simple quick box cutter knife that i always carry which i carry this mainly because with my work we're constantly opening boxes and shit so i need something there that i can just you know cheap and easy to work with and then once in a while I might carry my Leatherman with me, but I don't carry it often just because it's in my pockets and I don't have the proper side clip uh, pouch, whatever you want to call it, for my uh, for my belt, because that also bothers the hell out of me, because like this phone case, uh, carry clip, it gets caught on everything. And then when I'm not in my truck, I always have my truck keys on me, which nothing special about it. And then. Right now, I've got chapstick on me, but that's all I really carry in my pocket. And then once in a while, depending on the circumstances, if I'm not super broke, I might have change or money in my pocket, but not, you know, today. But that's really about it. And and once in a while, I might have nuts, bolts, screws, or whatever in my pocket, like most everybody. But I don't carry a lot in my pockets just because there's not a lot for me to carry. But yeah, that's about it. And I know it's kind of a short video, and I know I'm supposed to call out somebody. But really, everybody that I've watched on YouTube so far kind of has already been called out and I really can't think of any names at this moment but but really I know why Timothy called me out is mainly because the little bugger just wanted me to make a video which he said it probably worked which it did which anyways later today you're going to be getting another video from me which revolves around something but right now I'm waiting on it to show up and so that will probably be here later today. But yeah, so that's kind of that. And yeah, I, that's about all I can really tell you and say, because I mean, I got really nothing else to say other than got the D7, dad's D17 over there. And like I keep telling him, we got to stop buying some of the same uh, model tractors because it's getting kind of hard to keep track of who's is who's because he's got a D14, I got a D14. I mean, and I'm looking for a D15, so. He's already got one, but yeah, that thing's good. He's getting that ready for spring. He's still got some stuff I think he's got to do to it, which if I remember correctly, he's having issues with it leaking around the seam on the gas tank there, which I don't know how well you guys can really see, but the little seam that usually runs right along, kind of right where my finger is for the gas tank, that's leaking and then up around with the gauges on the tractor, it's leaking. But yeah, that's kind of about all I really got to say on that. But nothing else new. 